Hey, you okay? You all right? About time you woke up. I was starting to think maybe they'd fried your brains or something. You got a headache, right? Don't worry, that'll get better. I don't know if it'll matter, but it'll get better. They must really like you. At least they let me keep my clothes. Looks like they stripped you of everything. Me? I'm the same as you, I figure. Went poking around someplace I shouldn't have, and now I'm paying for it. So you and me, we're stuck here until they decide they want to prod us some more or worse. Man, I can't believe this. This is what you call, what is it, irony? Hell, I don't know. Been here for a little while, but haven't found a way to... Shit. You hear that? It's coming again. Get back against the wall now. coming for us. I'm thinking maybe now you can understand it's a good idea to get the hell out of here? Your guess is as good as mine. I can't understand what they're saying. I don't remember half of what they did to me. And that might be a good thing. I know we ain't the only ones. There's a whole bunch of us in here. They'll pluck folks out every now and then. Sometimes they bring them back, sometimes they don't. Either way, I ain't keen to find out what they're doing. What, you've never seen a giant metal claw scoop somebody up and carry them off to who knows where? I don't know where they're taking them, and I'm not interested in staying here long enough to find out. We got to get out of here, kid, now. Now you're talking. I can tell you, there ain't an easy way out of here. I've looked around, I can't find any panels, wires, circuits, nothing. I'm thinking they did us a favor putting us together in here like this. And I say we use it to our advantage. And for the record, the name's Soma. Nice to meet you. They're keeping an eye on us, you know, watching us. So I say we give them a little show. Give them a reason to pay a little extra attention to us. They want us alive for something, who knows what. Point is, if it looks like one of us is going to kill the other, they'll step in to stop it. So that's what we do. We throw a few punches, make it look real, and then jump them when they come in to break it up. Hell if I know, but at least it's a start. It's better than sitting here waiting for them to experiment on us even more. Oh, uh, okay, so does that mean you're in? All right, I'll hold back on you. Make sure you don't get too roughed up, okay? And you be ready. Soon as they come in to get us, you take them down. Yeah, we're really fighting now, aren't we? Make it look good. Ow, hey, not too hard. Hey, kid. 
kid, be careful. Ow! Aim for the head! How long it'll be before they send more after us? Escaping? Do you want to see the rest of this place? I've seen a bunch. <clears throat> I can show you if you want. Great! Oh, great. Well, so much for that idea. She suckered you good, huh? See? I told you I could help. Sure. I love exploring, and it's been a while since I've been out and about. We'll have to be careful, because they'll be mad that we're out. But it's okay. I know how to get through the steamworks. We need to get to the big engine room, so I can show you the rest of the ship. Let's go. Oh, I've been here a while. A long while. Sometimes, I can sneak out of my cell and go explore. I've seen a bunch of the ship. It's pretty neat. But they always catch me and put me back here. I don't have any family anymore. My mom and dad died a while ago, before I ended up here. You know, back when all the bombs dropped on everything. Yeah, it was right after that. And then me and my sister, we got pulled up here. Except... I haven't seen her in a long time. I'll stay right with you. I could have done I'll show you what I found. If you want to get out of here, I think it'll help. Come on, follow me. Aw, oh, nuts. 
They turned it off. Last time I was here, I used this to get to the top of the ship. It's kind of like an elevator, only it doesn't just go up and down. It feels sort of tingly, too. They must be pretty angry that we're exploring. Oh, I know. Come on, I know another way up. So, this is it. Pretty neat, huh? I never had the courage to wake them up, but I think you're going to need to. The spaceman has a suit, and we need him to use it. Well, because he's got a spacesuit. Can't go out in space without one. And if we're going to escape, we need to go outside. If they turn off the elevator things, that's the only other way to go. So we need a suit. See? Simple. This is going to be... not. Those freezers are so dangerous. Sometimes people don't wake up. I guess you better take his suit. You're going to have to go if he can't. But first, you have to get to the door to the outside. They'll be waiting for you. But you can suck out all the air and part of the ship so they won't get in your way. They have these generator things that power parts of the ship and make sure it has air. You'll have to turn some of them off. There's one in the cryo lab, one in the hangar bay, and one where they make the robots, the robot assembly area. Once they're all broken, you can get through that door to the outside. And then, once you get to the top of the ship, you can turn the teleporter thing back on, and I can catch up to you. I guess it's time for me to get those doors unlocked for you now. This is fun! Oh, you'll know them when you see them. You push this button, and then this big thing is like, whoosh, and it comes out of the floor. And then, there are these things you press down, and it goes, and then you better get out of the way. You'll see. Don't go alone. Those generators are in scary places. Take one of the grown-ups with you. What's, what's going on? Who are all these people? What? I've never seen any of you before in my life. Last people I saw were... Oh my god! Aliens! I was taken by aliens! You! You must be the aliens trying to get into my mind. Well, that's not gonna work! Private Elliot Tekorian, U.S. Army Medic, serial number 3477809. That's all I'm telling you. Hey, you could be one of those little green guys in human form, or maybe you are human and they just took over your mind. We have no idea how limitless their powers are. I... I suppose so. Look, all I want to do is get back home and back to the rest of my squad. Wait a minute! My men! My unit! Have you seen them? Oh my god, I'm responsible for them, and now they're lost, or dead. Please, if you mean what you say, that we're all in this together, then you've got to help me find out what happened to them. Thank you, thanks so much. Sorry about all this. I just can't believe this is happening. Hmm. Sounds like I may be of some use in there. If there are other people in stasis, I could help revive them or something. Just watch my back. He looks like a Japanese samurai. 
guess the aliens must have plucked him from Earth a long time ago. I can't understand a word he's saying. Experiment on this, you sons of bitches! Wait, I think that's some more of my squad. It's Daniels and Beckett! There's gotta be a way to revive them with their memories intact, so they won't attack us on sight. I think I may be able to use this medical equipment yes, to bring them out of stasis properly. 
The aliens have already injected them with all sorts of compounds I don't recognize. I don't know how it will affect them when they awake. I know. I don't know what to Squad, they're my friends. If I revive them, maybe they could help us. I'm not sure they'll last very long, but if we leave them... You saw what the aliens did to the others! I don't know for certain. I can get them on their feet and moving for maybe a few minutes at best. There's no way for me to tell what the aliens have already subjected them to. I can't understand these readouts. Their pain could be horrible. This technology is out of my league, so I'm just going to have to improvise. It's the best I can do. Thanks. I'm really not sure what's best for them. What did you decide? I suppose you're right. Don't worry. They won't feel a thing. The tubes are filled with an oxygen compound to sustain them. If I just shut it down, they won't feel a thing. That's it then. They're... They're gone. Rest in peace, men. You deserve it. Wait just a second. Take them down! Want some of this? Ah! some of this.
Look at the door. Didn't think I'd ever see something like this. That's really something. Almost enough to make you forget we're running for our lives up here. Not really the time for gawking. Sorry, I should get the door. Hang on, okay? Did you see that? Scary, but also kind of a stupid move on their part, don't you think? Yeah, sure, no questioning about that. But if you ask me, seeing that was kind of good news. Means we're making some headway, you know? Really getting under their skin. Turn this one off, too. You're going to have to find the other end and turn it back on. Good luck. We'll stay right here and wait for you.
do it! I knew we could beat them! You're even better than Captain Cosmos! I know. And you're very welcome. I'll keep an eye on the ship for you. on their ship. Fire when ready. buttons or something to restart the generators. you hear, Sally?
better than Captain Cosmos. I know. And you're very welcome. I'll keep an eye on the ship for you. <laughs> <laughs> 